Okay, our next artist is Mary Norman. She's from Memphis, Tennessee. And this is oil called Marbles Number 35 Fire and Marbles Number 36 Green and Silver. These are very cute. Very clever. <laughs> she also has a third one right here called Marbles 32 Broken Gold in oh, oil. Yeah. And again, Mary is from Memphis, Tennessee. Now this is very unusual. Yes, it is. This is a picture or painting done by Sonia McAllister from Waverville, North Carolina. It's called Temporal Vision Microscope, and it's a micro digital image whereby, depending on how the light hits the box, the piece of glass that's suspended will give you different patterns. Oh, I'll be darned. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? This is uh, another local artist, Chris ah. Picor. She lives here in Mesquite, and her medium is acrylic. This is called Utah Ruin. And I think I've seen that when you drive old Highway 91. Yes. You see the ruins. I believe yes. that's one of them. Very it is. clever. Oh, I like that. The next one is a watercolor done by Lucille Karstensen. Lives here in Mesquite, and it's a beaver tail cactus. That's very pretty. Yes, yeah, a lot a of very color. Very good watercolorist. Mm -hmm. She also paints animals in her pictures. The next one is an oil by Bonnie Lagori. She lives here in Mesquite, Nevada, and this is called Pears. I like that one. I do too. It's very good. Oh, how darling is this? This is darling Sharon Clark. Oh my goodness! As you can sake. see, is a very good photographer. And this is a digital image called Good Morning. <laughs> and she is a local photographer here in Mesquite, Nevada. Oh, that is precious. Our next painting is by Maya Farber from New York, New York. And it is called Pair of Pears. Pears, and it's an acrylic and mixed media. Very cute. Oh, these look like you could just pluck them right out of there and eat them. Mm, you it does. Ooh. The next artist is Gail Smith. She's a local artist here in Mesquite, and I've had been fortunate enough to watch her paint. She's quite good. And it's done in, in acrylics, and it's called Strawberries. Oh, wow. The next one is an oil painting by Bonnie Ligori called Onions. And again, she's a resident of Mesquite, Nevada. Mm -hmm. Those look like you could pluck them off of there mm -hmm. and That's put them in good. a pot. Uh, next artist is a local artist, Jan Hansen, from Beaver Dam, Arizona, just eight miles away, called mm -hmm. Room for 13 Cows, <laughs> and it is a watercolor, and she paints primarily in watercolors, pure uh -huh. watercolors. Oh, it's beautiful. And the next one is a mixed media piece by Jan Stensland called 13 O'Clock. Yeah. Jan Stensland lives here in Mesquite, Nevada. I like that. That's really cute. It's very clever. The next artist is Carlin Jones. Hers is done in watercolor called Canned and Potted, and she lives here in Mesquite, Nevada. Hmm, I like that. Oh, this is pretty. Next local artist, Joanne Johansson. She paints primarily in watercolors, and this is called A Circle of Leaves. Uh huh. Next one is a local artist, Carlin Jones. She painted this in watercolor, and it's called Southwest Miniatures. And she gets a lot of her inspiration from the Valley of Fire. Yes. So small. Oh, beautiful. And such detail. Mm -hmm. oh. The next artist Ooh. is a local photographer, Sharon Clark. Mm -hmm. And this is a dem digital image of Cedar Pocket. Right down the road. Yes, you just take the I-15 north for about 15 minutes, and there mm -hmm. you are. Yeah. The next artist is Dick Rose. It is a watercolor called Outhouse Saloon, and he lives in St. George, Utah. Very westerny. I yes, like he that. He was also the past president of the Southern Utah Watercolor Society. Okay. This is his also, Dick Rose. Watercolor called Breakaway. <laughs> and the horses on the carousel are doing just exactly that. They're breaking out. There they go. That is cute. That's very cute. 
The next artist, Ralph LeMaster, lives in Corona, California and drives all the way to Mesquite to help us with our gallery. Okay, the name of this one is You Looking at Me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to meet that cat. I'm not sure I want to either. <laughs> and it's a dry media. It looks to be done in uh, uh, pencil, colored pencils. Uh -huh. The next is a local artist, oh, Gail Pfeiffer. It's, yes, this is yours. Thank you. Oh, she lives I like here in it. Mesquite, Nevada. Yes. And it's called Wow Hot Peppers. And yeah. It's a pure watercolor. Oh, that is very cute. Thanks. A lot of detail. That's beautiful. No, really, I like it a lot. Could <laughs> you talk to the judges for me? Uh, sure. The <laughs> okay. uh, next artist is Marley Warren. She's from St. George, Utah. And it is a digital image, photo, oh, and a collage. That is very, very clever. Rusty, rusty Memories of Old Tractors. Yeah. Some with more rust than others. Yeah. Very nice. Next one is uh, oil and acrylic called The Last Leaf by Randy MacArthur, who lives here in Mesquite, Nevada. Very striking. Mm. Next artist is Susan Holliday. It's dry media called The 13th Round, and she is a resident also of Mesquite, Nevada. That is intriguing. Wow. Next artist is Lisa Hoover, lives in St. George, Utah, and this is called Goldfish, and it is a pure watercolor. And a lot of re light reflections in that, so I hope people can see it. Oh, I love this one. Another artist from St. George, Utah, Juanita Becker, who was our artist of the month last month, mm -hmm. and put on a very beautiful display. This is called Sunshine 2, and it's a watercolor. Mm. Next one is Acrylic and Mixed Media by Maya Farber, and it's called Two Sunflowers, and she lives in New York, New York. You can almost see the water in the bottom of the picture. Yes, and you can also see the use of metallic to bring yes. out the flowers. Oh, Beautiful wow. background. Very well, well framed. Uh -huh. um, next artist is Sharon Grubbs. This is an oil painting called The Troubadour, and she's from East Bend, North Carolina. Well, we do have them from all over. Yes, I love we that. Do. Again, mm. Juanita Becker from St. George, Utah, watercolor, and this is called Magnolia. Oh, how pretty. Okay, well, thank well, you very much. Yes, thank you very much, Gail, and we appreciate your nice. tour today. And <laughs> Everybody needs to come down and look at these. Oh, yes. that's, it's just unbelievable art. It's so beautiful. Yes, every year it gets better and better. Yes, and this Thursday of yes. November 15th is the um, monthly get-together. Yes, we're going to have a reception in this room where we will announce the winners for our raffle prizes, and we will be having drinks and sodas and assorted food dishes. And it is open to the public. Okay. And it goes from four to six. Great. All right. Well, I'll be here. Good. I was <laughs> counting on it. All right. Thank you very much, Gail. Thank you.